You've shot your video in horizontal mode, but you need to make a vertical one. So what do we do? There are two possible ways that we can do this to get a horizontal video into a vertical format for Facebook, IG, or TikTok. So let's drag a clip onto the timeline. Any clip will do. I'm just going to trim this clip because for this video, for this tutorial, I don't need a very long piece. Okay, so as you can see up here, we got 1920 by 1080. And what we want to do is flip this around. We want 1080 over here. The easiest way to do that is just use this drop down here and select phone or 9 by 16. Yes. Now watch what's going to happen. So here's a problem. It is completely the wrong aspect ratio. So normally what we could do is just start dragging these notes. But what's going to happen is we're going to hit a limit. And we've, there you go. So we've hit the limit already. So this is probably the max that we can actually expand it. So what do we do? Very simple. We go over here. We hit the crop mode. Just click it once on either side. And then we go back into the resize nodes. And then we can adjust it again. And here we go. So this is the easiest one. Now I can zoom in or out on the preview window just by using my mouse button. And I'm just going to ever so slightly just increase it a little bit more. So I've got the entire green screen as my background. And obviously, if you do use for TikTok or anything like that, you always want your eye line not to be in the center. You want it at least two thirds of the way up. So I'm, again, I'm just going to make this slightly bigger. And then I'm going to adjust it so I'm a little bit higher on the canvas and about two thirds up. And that should do it. So that is method number one. And now I will show you method number two. Right, so we got the same setup. Okay, and this time what we're not going to do is use the resize nodes or the crop nodes. So let's uncheck that. What we can do is left click on our footage, motion, custom motion. Okay, so I already know the size to be around 345, so 345. And what I want to do again is just drag my footage slightly higher. And then I'm just going to use that resize nodes to drag it down. And then just ever so slightly bring it back down. And I'm now going to use the copy to paste all right. So right click on the keyframe, copy and paste it all right, and then press OK. And now we have the exact same thing as we did in the first option. And there you go, my friends. It is so simple to do. Just be careful when you start exporting the video file. Let's go into the share tab. We can actually use this little icon here, device, which represents these options here. And you've got mobile device here. And just double check that it is 1080 by 920. You can also just stay in here and then use the same size as the project setting and you're pretty good to go. But if you want to be a little bit more meticulous, use this option here. And again, mobile device. Obviously, this is not the one we want. We want 1080 by 920. Just double check that this is in the right ratio. Otherwise, you're going to get a very unusual looking video. And as always, thanks for watching.